I got to train with a real life dragon slayer like Guts from Berserk. This has steadily been becoming more common on the internet as of late, and there are many questions on how effective this actually is, what muscles it works, and can we get this jacked just from swinging these behemoths? So stay tuned as we see. Yo dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another episode of Would That Work Out? The series where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze if a fictional character's routine would actually work if attempted in real life. And today I'm very blessed as my good friend Thomas Ashman blessed me with a real life dragon slayer and I will now be doing guts training and honestly any character with a big giant sword that they have to wield casually. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy if you've probably seen around on TikTok or on like YouTube who's like, I am training with this giant sword until I can wield it like guts and stuff like that. And so I remember initially seeing it on TikTok and be like this is so impressive so I just like you know commented you know support and love and stuff like that because you always got to boost people up and uh, he responded back to me because apparently he'd been a fan of mine for a while so I was just like bro all right like that's well that's dope I just wanted to say that to you and he like was so generous and so gracious decided to hook me up with an actual sword of my own and uh, he sent me this letter so I'm just gonna read this real quick all right so Dear Jordan, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude for your contribution to health and fitness of people all around the world. When I was first learning how to work out in high school, watching your videos was one of the foundations for fitness education. Getting to send you a workout style I've created and getting your thoughts on it is a surreal feeling. It brings me immense joy to know that it has caught your attention and that you have chosen to train with it. This isn't any Dragon Slayer though, this is a Jack's Blade, one of a kind, badass piece of functional art taking inspiration from Black Panther, Digimon, and of course, Berserk. If you have any questions pertaining to how to use your Dragon Slayer, please don't hesitate to reach out. Looking forward to training with you someday. Warm regards, Tommy. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh shit. Am I tearing up? Oh man. Mm. Oh shit. Oh. Mm. Want to express my gratitude for you. Over. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it just, it, it touches me when I realize like, cause again, I always started off as just like a loser, I feel like, and then I just want to make other people feel better. And so the fact that I'm able to help and inspire people, ah, uh, it got me, it got me, oh well. Mm. Anyways, let's get on to some badass training. <laughs> now for starters, the weight of the sword. Now the weight of the sword is only around like 20 to 30 pounds, I believe. And it's like very light. When you hold it like as a natural sword, it's like very light. But when you hold it in like a position where you're trying to slash or move anything, because of the weight leverage, it feels astronomically heavier. So it feels like this is like 100 plus pounds of just like trying to swing it. And that is where it becomes very much of a challenge. And that's a beautiful thing about leverage weight. Now, if you're curious how leverage weight works, just think of it like very simply. Like for example, here's a hammer. So when you know you grab the hammer right here at the top, it's like very light, very easy, you can do whatever. But as you start to move it down, this becomes so much harder because of the leverage that is going on here. So the weight is going to feel so much more heavy because of it. I wanna make this as easy to understand, like you could show this to like a first grader and they could get it. See, up here, very light, balance, all this stuff, but then when you start making the weight go out further, it's like, oh wow, this is insanely heavy. This hammer isn't insanely heavy, but like, I'm just making this easy to understand. So, oh yeah, it gets heavier the more you go down like this. I think I'm getting the hang of it though, okay? You just gotta control, oh yeah. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Now, when I first started using this sword, I first thing I noticed was how strong my grip had to be so I didn't just drop it. So like when I was holding it in front of me, I was like, okay, my I'm gripping so much harder than others. So it's definitely going to increase the grip strength in the forearms, but also it was definitely working my shoulders too. And it was working my back, my core, and some of my legs and stuff like that. Like I'm just going over what I'm feeling during this like scenario right here. Like it is definitely working so many things. And like after like an entire day of like just training with it there are muscles that were sore the next day I was like oh well you haven't been hit like properly in a while apparently and so it was just a fun little dynamic 
Now the way Guts or like Asta or like other anime characters with big ass swords train with it like Cloud style is they very much just do muscle conditioning where they're focused on just doing as many reps as possible. Like you know freaking remember when Zoro was just like you know slashing that big ass like barbell with the weight plates on it. He's just like I'm going for 2,000 reps because as I established before when you'd watch anime training they do the type of training where they're mainly focused on like muscle conditioning. Like if you have a big number and you see a character just swinging a really heavy weight for numerous times that is a very easy visual way for the audience member to go like oh that person is very very strong all right they're very very uh conditioned they have a lot of endurance they got a lot of stamina because they're able to like swing this for that many reps now realistically again if you were to do that like you know over and over and over like for like if you're going like a thousand reps per day that would be a bit excessive and can lead to you know overuse injuries as we talked about before either with like the rotator cuff or you know golfer's elbow tennis elbow stuff like that like various things like that but like again what Thomas is doing is he's just doing like you know a certain amount every day and that's just the same as doing something like a sledgehammer a tire hit every single day for a certain amount of reps because your body can gradually like get used to doing certain things over and over and over again to where they are benefiting you uh, where you're like you know like it's a called uh, greasing the groove I've talked about this briefly before but if you do something like a little bit daily of something like uh, for example we can just use push-ups as an example to make this easy if I was to do like um 10 push-ups every single day across the day like it's something like that like or half my max of push-ups or something like that so it would be like a spread across the day instead of just doing them all in one setting that is a very effective way at helping your muscles to get stronger sending signals to them and also without completely destroying and gassing yourselves as a matter of fact there are a lot of prisoners who actually use this type of training to get jacked in jail so for example instead of like just doing like you know 100 push-ups and then stopping they'll go like oh I'm gonna do like 50 in the morning and then I'll do like 50 at lunch and then I'll do 50 in the evening and then I'll do like 50 at night or something like that and they just spread it across the day like they don't wear themselves out and so if you're like using a sword like that like or anime wise where they're just doing it consistently across the day and not just like completely going balls to the wall like to muscle failure every single time they train with it every single day that can have some benefits to you now I just did it like just to see what I could play with and play around with when I was doing this sort of training and I noticed it was very gassing it was very very conditioning heavy when I was doing it and it was so like I was just like getting like wow I'm, I'm getting so gassed from lifting this heavy ass sword but it feels fun too I see I have much more respect for guts because first off this is a rubber ass suit I don't not even rubber it's like plastic and mold in different areas and leather and then guts has like a fucking armor on and he's swinging this shit are you fucking he is a beast like bruh now here's another thing some people are gonna wonder does this build a body like those characters and again like I always say not necessarily because something that you need to realize is in anime and cartoons and superhero stuff besides like cloud he, like he's got more of a leaner frame what they do is they get like they draw them like fitness models. They draw them like bodybuilders and fitness models who are like stepping on stage where like every muscle striation looks absolutely perfect and stuff like that when they go out and they're fighting and it's just, it's a cool little aesthetic look and they don't have to worry about doing anything because you know, they're the artists, they can look like however they want them to. If you do this, there's so many variations for a lot of people out there. Sure, it is a fun training routine and it will definitely build up some of those muscles and you'll start to notice them pop a bit more more. But if you're thinking you're gonna look like you know a pro bodybuilder after like eight weeks, like you remember how uh, in Conan he just pushed a wheel then automatically uh, turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's not gonna work like that for a majority of people unless you are a genetic beast or you got myostatin related muscular hypertrophy. If you don't know what that is, watch this video here. But um. It is very much, it can definitely get you some muscles, definitely get you some gains, definitely help you shed excess fat and build some stuff, and it can get you a lot of, like, you know, benefits. However, if you are trying to just be like, oh, I'm only just going to swing this and then I'll turn to this, that's probably not going to happen for a lot of people. So what I love about it is it feels like when Gohan was training with the Z-Sword, and at first it was, like, super heavy and he could barely move it, but then he gets, like, super 
you know, nice with it. But like, what I love about this is the fact that it's so difficult now means that when it gets easier, it just shows that I got stronger. That's why I love physical training and self-improvement, and that's why I think y'all should just always like, always look at the bigger picture, okay? If you're weak at something at first, and then you gradually get better at it, that is a win. That is a win, kings, queens, non-binary royales, okay? That is freaking dope, and that's why I always love this. I love the fact that like, I am so weak at this right now, because as it becomes easier, that just means I am elevating as a person, and I freaking love that, and I love that feeling. It's just, oh God. Next thing, injury-wise, as many of you know, I've had like so many injuries over the years, so I try to be as safe as possible, and just like, I focus on getting stronger in so many areas, not just, you know, looking great. And uh, one of the things I will say about this is it definitely requires a lot of warming up. Like, I warmed up for like a good 15 minutes before I even attempted to do anything with it, because, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, you'll just throw out your back, you'll hurt this, or you'll hurt this, and it's like, yeah, most definitely, if you're not warmed up, those are very easily damaged. Um, I will say this, though, uh, also, I do think you require some supplemental training just for, you know, your rear delts or anything like that, so you keep all this area safe, because when I was doing it, I was noticing there was a lot of stress in my front deltoid. So there was a lot of stress here and here when I was first like lifting it and stuff like that. But then you can do stuff like halos with a club, like if you ever know, like if you've ever done like, you know, that club training and keep the shoulder mobility healthy with it. But again, due to the size of it, I think that can be a uh, issue for some people. But also, it is like um, one of those situations where like, if you're not used to it, you definitely gotta like get the form down. Like you can't just like automatically go into it depending on unless you get like a lighter one. Um, again, I'm very blessed that my one was a like, 23 and then again, I have trouble with that. And it was one of those things, I don't like you go like, oh, I'm not, like, I don't want to say like, oh man, like, you know, even I had trouble with it or something like that. Like, oh, I'm such a badass or something like that. Like, I'll say this. Uh, I'm confidently, I'm a strong person. I'm a very strong individual. That is not ego saying, it's just like, I know that from my accomplishments, I'm a strong individual. So for me, I was having issue getting the handle of it the first day. And it was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is this is a bit of a challenge. But then afterwards, like once I started playing with it a bit, like throughout the week, it became a lot more manageable, and I was having a lot more fun with the certain thing. And I wanted to see if I could get to a point where I can like use it, you know, like like uh, Thomas was talking about, where it's like, oh, just one hand and doing all that stuff. I still haven't gotten there yet, but um. It is very, very um, uh, strenuous to certain areas of the body, and I can notice if I did not warm those areas up or I didn't focus on like doing supplementary exercises, it would definitely have a negative effect, and that's something just to avoid, but it's something that's easily managed in my opinion. Oh, I'm getting it one-handed. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, so. The sun is bearing down really hot and I'm in this black freaking get up and it's tight and it's getting hard to breathe and I don't want to get heat stroke or anything like that. But uh, so far from training with it right now and the last couple days, I'm really digging it. I see why freaking Asta and freaking, who's that one dude from Inuyasha, not Inuyasha, but the bad guy, Bankotsu, Bankotsu, and then like freaking Cloud and Guts himself are always like so ridiculously strong because like, Playing with this is ridiculous. So Thomas, you a G. Overall thoughts, I think this is a fun way to train. Thomas, this is great. I'm so blessed that you were able to hook me up with this sort of thing. Um, I think it's a good way just to like for people who uh, don't want to fall into the monotonous nature of just, you know, going into the gym. Because as I always talk to people, some people will like fall into different things where they're like, I don't like weightlifting, I don't like calisthenics, I just want to do this sort of thing. And so this is a cool little piece of resistance training just to play around with in other areas that I just absolutely enjoyed. Again, go check out Thomas on his uh, TikTok and YouTube, all that jazz. Again, nothing but love and respect. And if you made it this far in the video, type in Berserk Jacks in the comment section down below. And for people out there, uh, tell me, who is your favorite big sword wielder in fiction and why? And let's get a discussion going. And be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, got a ton of content coming. It's it's been a very stressful last couple weeks, so like I, I couldn't upload as frequently as I want to because I had to deal with a bunch of personal stuff. But again, to all of my supporters who are out there, uh, thank you. I have faith in you. You guys rock. You king, queens, non-binary royales, all y'all. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And remember, like I always say, keep calm, 
Booyah on, and don't forget, moment I Gotta get some work done on some other stuff. Cause yes, I do have a Baki fluidity video and then other stuff is coming as well. Cause I just keep grinding cause I won't give up. But uh, we're gonna get to that million. Peace out y'all.